Wigan are early contenders for team of the season. They've now won 10 successive league games and their unbeaten sequence stretches to 20 league games. A fantastic record. And nobody was more determined than Nathan Ellington to make his mark at Ashton Gate. Ellington joined Wigan last February from Bristol Rovers. But try as he might, he couldn't make the breakthrough. A slip by Tommy Doherty gave Tony Dinning the chance to set up Ellington for a second time. Bristol City were hanging on, but only just. Paul Jewell has done a terrific job at Wigan, yet for Danny Wilson there remains the nagging worry that Bristol City could just falter again in the second half of the season. Wilson wasn't unhappy with his team showing against Wigan, and they did have their chances. Matt Hill shooting wide. Then just after half-time, Wigan took the lead. A superbly struck free kick by Peter Kennedy. His first goal since joining Wigan from Watford at the start of last season. The Scottish coach Bertie Vokes was at the game. Dad was checking on Bristol City's top scorer, Scott Murray. On this occasion, Murray was unable to add to his total of 18 goals for the season, but it still needed a fine save by John Fyland to keep him out. Yeah, it's a difficult place to go and play, you know, great atmosphere, very good home support there for them and, uh, you know, a good band of travelling supporters for us. It was uh, certainly nice to celebrate the end of a 1-0 victory. Yeah, obviously, it's a very difficult place to go uh, and the lads done themselves proud, uh, come away with a victory and I think it's fair to say it's well deserved, really. Uh, once the game worked tremendously hard and uh, scored the goal from a set play. I thought uh, the Bristol City game, when we beat them 1-0, I thought that actually put them out, out of touch with us. I mean, it didn't mathematically, but I think we were 13 points clear after that, you know. Um, <coughs> excuse me, if they'd have beaten us, you know, obviously they'd, they'd, they'd have fancied the chances of catching us. So that was a big game. 